And while we're still in a role, let's also cover a few other input options. More specifically, I'll show you the gotcha when it comes to checkboxes. And we'll also take a look how we can display the select input, basically when we have a list of options. So in the app JSX, grab the starter from zero for other inputs. And this is what you should see on the screen, essentially a form with few labels and a submit button. So first, let's go to the file where we're looking for other inputs in the star. And this is going to be our entry point. And let's start by setting up two state values. And let's start with shipping, which essentially is going to be our Boolean value. So here, let's go with const and then shipping and set shipping. And we'll set it equal to use state. And by default, it's going to be false. And then we want to navigate to our form. And we're looking for this one, the first form row, where we have the free shipping in the label. And in here, let's set up the input first, it's not going to be equal to type text, we actually want to go with checkbox. And since Emmet right away spits out this name one, we might as well provide that. So we're not going to use it in this example. But normally, if you would, you would type whatever is the state value over here. And then when it comes to Eddie, same deal, we're going to go with shipping. Let me save and now notice, we we'll have our own little checkbox over here. After that, let's set up the on change. And also, let's create the function. Now, unlike the input, the typical text or email on password, we actually want to go with checked, and we want to set it equal to that state value. So unlike the value equals to the state value, now we go with checked. So let's go here, first, checked, and that is equal to my state value, which again, is a Boolean. And then when it comes to function, first, we need to create one. So let me go over here. And in my case, I'm going to call this handle shipping. So that's my function, I'll be looking for the event object. And as far as the logic, first, let's just log event dot target dot checked. So that's the one that we're going to use not event dot target that value. Because notice we don't have the value in here, we have the checked. So let's go here, let's say event dot target and checked. And I'll right away use the value that's coming back and I'll set it equal to my shipping in the state. So in here, I'll say set shipping and set it equal to that value. And essentially, it's going to be either true or false, depending whether you have clicked on it or not. And the very last thing we want to do over here is to set up on change and set it equal to the handle shipping. Let's save this again, we'll have this warning in the console. But basically, you'll notice that every time we click on the checkbox, we'll get back the value. And we're setting that in the state. And I guess the major gotcha about the checkbox is that we want to use the checked instead of the value. 